wanted to give y'all an update on my beehives. I've added the top section up here. They were getting a little crowded, so I decided to, to expand it. They haven't done a lot of building in here yet. So I'm still kind of waiting on them to start building up there. They have filled this completely full down here of brood. And over here, they have it's over half full, and they're starting to cross over on the top up here. And all of this is, uh, some of it's brood that's already been capped off. Others of it is uh, brood that has larvae in it. If you look down inside the cells there, you can see some larvae down in the bottom of those cells. That's a good shot there of some. And over here at the bottom, this was all capped off last week, but now they've all hatched out of most of it. There's still a few that haven't hatched out, but uh, there's a large majority of this that has already hatched out on this side. I've even got a video of um, of one of the bees coming out of the cell and being born. I'll show you that now. It takes about two minutes for it to completely come out. wanted to show y'all how I put the hive together using the parts that I 3D printed. Uh, there's a few things I have to cut out ahead of time that's not 3D printed, like the uh, foundation that is has a wax coating on it, and you buy it just like this. It comes in sheets, and I have a pattern here that I put on there and trace it off, and I cut it out with my bandsaw, and once I've cut it out it looks like this and I have two pieces that have to go together like this to make the hive and I have these pieces here that have a groove in the middle that fits around the uh, foundation and you just have to put it around all the sides of it And this is a little, little tricky getting it together. Seems like as soon as you get one side in, the other side comes out. There we are.
And what I like to do to make sure it stays together until I get it in the hive, I like to put a little hot glue on the corners of it. Because once you get it in the hive, it, it'll stay in place because the hive hold, will hold it all together. So I just take a little hot glue and stick it on the corners. And that'll hold them together until I can get it into the frame of the hive. So, set that aside, let it cool a minute. And these are the sides of the hive. And they have grooves cut in them that the frames will fit in, as well as the, the back and the glass for the front will fit in there. And they go together like that. And then you just put a pin in the corner of it. in the wrong side on that one. There we go. And then the last two pieces. And then this will go on here. But we're not going to put it on there yet because we have to put the foundation and the back in it so here's a piece of foundation here and it just slides right in the groove just like that and I got the other foundation slides right in there too. And then I have a back piece here, which is just a piece of quarter inch plywood that I traced off and cut out and it goes in the, the back like that and the last piece is the glass that goes on the front got a groove that it slides in as well so once all your, your things are inside then you can put your last piece of your frame siding on it put your pins in there and there it is it's all together and then you have your screens that you can then go around and put on each side of it to close up these openings. Now these openings around the side, you can use them for lots of different uh, purposes. Mainly is this just ventilation right now with just a screen, but you can put other things on there like a feeder. You can take this and slide this inside there and it's just an open hole and you can put a feeder on top of it there's other types of screens you can put on there if you want to put a queen excluder on there you could put that on there so that if you were going to connect a piece like this that would go either outside or to a flow hive box you could put that on there 
and there's pieces that if you wanted to connect two frames together you could put this piece in there and and it would join the two hives together that are like this so there's lots of different attachments that I have that I can put on here I have also these little pieces here the little tabs that screw in here to hold whatever you put in place so that it doesn't move around or shift or come out and these are just little 3d tabs that I printed and I just screw them to the front and then you can just rotate it and take it out or you turn it up and then it kind of locks it into place there Now the way I fasten this to the wall, I have a, a 3D piece I've printed that is, is solid plastic. And I've got holes drilled through it with these uh, toggle bolts that you just drill a hole in the wall, stick that through the hole, then it expands and then you can tighten the screw up and it, and it anchors this to the wall. And so with that on the wall, then you can take the back and it has a groove in the top side and get it rotated around to the top right up inside of here there's a groove and this just fits in that groove and with this anchor to the wall it is very secure it will slide left and right in case you need to adjust a little bit but it holds very strong against the wall once you set this down and it can be lifted off the wall and put right back on without having to have any tools to take it off and on the wall so that's how it all goes together uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did just uh, subscribe and click that notification bell and you'll be notified when I post more videos thanks for watching